So late last night, the New York Met franchise fired Willie Randolph as coach of the New York Mets. You know, these fucking pieces of shit that own the Mets waited till they were in fucking California to fire this guy. That is some seriously fucked up shit. Alright? Yeah, I understand Willie's the coach, but you know what? He can't make these guys win, okay? He's doing, he did his fucking best. He did everything he could to make these guys win. But you know what? See, you fucking guys don't think of it that way. You know, yeah, the team's losing. Did you ever think they're losing? Because maybe, I don't know, they fucking suck? Now look, <laughs> I ain't a Met fan, I ain't a Yankees fan. And I'll tell you what, well, I'm more of a Met fan than a Yankee fan. But remember this, those fucking guys beat the Yankees in every game they played with them so far this season. Now you're going to have a series coming up that they may not win. Is it because you fired Willie? Hey, I don't know. I mean, and I don't even give a shit who this fucking jerk off is that's taking over. Because the simple fact of the matter is, you fucking really killed it for Willie. I mean, no more Subway commercials. You know... It's just wrong. You fired a great man. You know, he was on the Yankees. He, he was a good ball player. I think he won two World Series when he was with the Yankees. And he was a good coach. You see, the problem is all these people try to put the blames when a team's not winning on the coach. And you can't do that. It's a fucking collective effort, okay? I mean... You know, Willie can't go up to everybody and do this, do that, or whatever. You know, he can't get inside the minds of these guys. He can only yell and scream at them. Yeah, for the most part. You know, that's just the way it is. A team is only a team as long as they're a team. You know what I mean? It's like, what can I compare this to? Well, it, you can't really compare it to anything because fucking baseball is fixed anyway. You know? I don't see what everybody makes a big deal about. A bunch of fucking guys who off a good portion are on steroids go out and hit a ball with a stick and make millions of dollars. I mean, I don't know if it's still in New York City, but I remember being in the city years ago when I was a kid. And they used to have this big sign, the national debt, and the thing used to be clicking and clicking. You're paying to these guys millions upon millions of dollars a year. Okay, a year. To do something most people would die for. And we have a national debt. I mean, they hit a fucking ball with a stick and catch a ball with a glove. I mean, shit, they don't even play the whole fucking year anyway. So why the fuck do these motherfuckers deserve all this money? You know, it makes me fucking sick to my stomach to see some, some of these guys get paid. And some of them are in America and don't even speak the fucking language. But, see, now we're getting away from the whole Willie Randolph situation. Now look, it's quite simple. You could have waited till, I don't know, a couple more weeks, till the All-Star break or something. I mean... Do you really think firing him now is going to win you any game? I mean, what are you going to just say they lose the next game they play? Oh, we were, were we wrong? You know what? You know what? Yeah, you were wrong for firing this fucking guy. You can't put all the blame on the coach. But yet, you guys seem to think it's all right. You know, politics are crooked. Sports are crooked. You fucking owners are crooked. And it's okay, because I don't watch baseball that often. So I could really give a rat's ass what happened. I want to thank you for your time and watching this video. And I think you should all protest and not watch any fucking Mets games. Because what they did to Willie, Big Chili Willie, was wrong. They took away more than his career. 
They took away his livelihood. What's he gonna do now? Now the New York Mets are on his team.